Renounce magic, I tell you! Shatter your tower! It's a brazen attack. King Radovid will learn of this. Radovid sent them, you idiot! John Natalis. Interrex John Natalis? He is regent. Hard to believe. He's a general, not a politician. I don't find it at all. Prepare surprising. for your final lesson. The final? But... I'll have no discussion. This will be a practical object lesson. You'll learn what a sorceress can never agree to under any circumstances. The authority of the victor from Brenner behind it. for your final lesson. Final? What? The absence of certain people is telling. The absence of others... I remember you. Shatter your towers and crystal walls. Hey there. Hey. Ah. Hmm. Nothing special.
damage. <laughs> Damned. The absence of certain people is telling, but the absence of others... Barbarian! Hmm, nothing special.
Your Majesty. I've waited long for this meeting. You left Redania so suddenly I had no chance to give you the send-off you so richly deserved. Your Majesty, I fail to understand why I have been arrested. I've done nothing but serve Redania's interests. Supporting the rebellion, undermining Hensult, risking my own reputation on your behalf. I'm no longer the little boy who believed your every word. Why do you do this, Radovid? I was there at your most trying hours. Without me, you would not be the man you are. I don't understand. You understand very well. You conspired against my father, Vizimir, and against me. The entire Redanian court once trembled in fear of Philippa Eilhart. Untrue, sire. You must let me explain. What are your charges, your majesty? Ambassador. Triss Merigold was kind enough to compile a list of persons making up the secret society known as the Lodge of Sorceresses. Some Nilfgaardian sorceresses were members as well, but you need not be bothered with them, my lady. Triss, you're mad! The Lodge ordered Demaven killed. It ordered Foltes killed. I suspect you played a part in my father's death. And if I released you from the Dimeritium, you'd kill me too. You're finished, Eilhart. There will be a trial, due process, everything as it should be. But know that you shall not wriggle out of this. You shall be convicted of conspiracy, treason, and regicide. They'll rip your flesh from you in bits before they burn you at the stake. Throughout my childhood, I felt your cold stare on the back of my neck. When I issued orders, my subjects would search with their eyes for Philippa Eilhart's gesture of consent. The entire court at Tretagor looked on as you humiliated me. All Redania laughed behind my back. You taught me to look everyone in the eye. Forced them to lower their gaze, do you remember? A king must never show weakness, uncertainty, you said. I've mastered that skill. Yet there is one I could never force to submit. You. You've one chance to shorten your suffering. Admit to everything, here and now, in the Ambassador's presence. Look me in the eye and repent. Submit. As you wish. Torturer. Put out those vile eyes. You're making a grave error, sire. We will talk again, witch. The Philippa Eilhart problem has been resolved. We... Intruder! Get him!
You're not easy to find. Look what they did to me. Radovid. To think I taught him magic tricks when he was just a boy. Free me, Geralt. I have to get out of here. Do you hear me? Help me! You'll answer a few questions first. Was Schiller telling the truth about the Lodge, the assassinations? He said exactly what Radovid wanted to hear. Half-truths, musings stripped of contexts, which differ very little from lies. Did Triss take part in all this? She's clean in those terms. Innocent as a child, but only to a point. I assure you, she has not been honest with you about many other matters. Why did all this happen? Murdering monarchs, what interests did it serve? I can't fathom. Help me get out of here and I'll explain all and lift the spell from Saskia. Take these shackles off me and lead me to my house. I beg you. I'll tell you everything. Everything. How does the spell work? Saskia's will and mine are one. She cannot resist me. But fear not. There's no suffering involved. She merely believes me to be the most wonderful person in the world. As if she were in love. You know what's most beautiful? In spite of all this, she seems unchanged. She's retained her charm, her valor, her honor. Where's Saskia? When I was arrested, she was with Sheila. They must be on their way to the deliberations by now. I didn't track you alone. Yorvith can't wait to see you again. My death would change little. Yorvith and all like him have no right to judge others. Clock's ticking. Time is of the essence. Why do you do this? Would you take vengeance on a blind woman? Shillard said they've got Triss. I have to free her before they put out her eyes, too. Going to the Nilfgaardian camp is suicide. And leaving a friend is villainy. Only I know how to break the spell that holds Saskia. Get me out of here. If I die, she'll remain forever spellbound. Saskia will remain an enslaved monster through your wickedness. You deserve to die. Even if you reach Triss, you will not free her. Sure I will. I'll trade Shillard for her. And what will Yorvath say when he learns you abandoned Saskia? You worry about what he'll do to you. I doubt he'll see your blindness as sufficient punishment. Do you think Marigold's innocent? You have no right to judge her. Goodbye, Eilhart. Ah! Move your ass, Excellency. This is preposterous. What do you aim to achieve? I want to see Triss. How did you get in here? Put that sword down. Only after I cut your throat. The choice is yours. I know of a tunnel. Then you can be my guide. and your ambassador will never see Nilfgaard's son again. My men won't let you leave here alive. They will if you ask them to, Excellency, and I believe you will. Reynold Ebb Madsen's orders come from the Emperor himself. He'd rather die than give you any gold. Then he'll die. No, mark my words. You will. Unless you release me. It's not too late. You're boring me. Pick up the pace. 
Why do you care for that sorcerer so much? Go. Uh... Out of the way, all of you, or the old man dies. Hold there! I'm not joking. I know. And I advise you not to hesitate. Kill him. For we shan't move one bit. Renwald! He who brings me the Witcher's head will get the Order of Merit. But Ambassador Fitz Estelin. Your Excellency. Orders from the capital. Now I'll have to kill you all. What are you waiting for? Get him! Did you really think you could just prance in here? Make the Emperor proud! Kill him! Die! 
Die, Nordling! <laughs> <laughs> Ranks are endless. Die, dog! Die, dog! Congratulations, Witcher. They were my best men. You should have picked them more carefully, or trained them better. Or perhaps they were ready for any foe but you. Free Triss, or join them. You amaze me. How can you risk your life for a witch? Let's just say we're close. I knew it. You're in love with her. You wouldn't risk your neck otherwise. But you don't know everything about her. What are you talking about? Your friend and the other witches conspired against your rulers. How do you know that? From the best possible source. She confessed. And how did you convince her to do that? By showing her the confessions of other Lodge members. I don't believe you. That's irrelevant at this point. During our chat, my people managed to regroup. Call for reinforcements. Maybe now they'll start fighting like men. Time to show you the Empire's true power. Surround him! Long live the Emperor!
Are you kidding? The only person you expect to see in a Nilfgaardian dungeon is the Executioner. Did they torture you? They tried various... things. But they got nothing from me. I traveled half the world to find you. I know it was hard on you. I'll never forget this, you hear? Never. Couldn't you ask your friends from the Lodge for help? How do you know from the Lodge? I just do. Listen, Triss. There's a lot happening in Lochmuin, and it's all happening fast. The fact that I'm here means I'm not helping Jorvid, and I abandoned Saskia. You chose me. In some sense, yes. I fought my way through the Nilfgaardian camp to learn why you lied to me. That's not true. I know about the Lodge. I know the Lodge was behind Demavent's assassination. I know Triss Marigold is a member of the Lodge. It's not like that. Show me the error in my reasoning. I'm a member of the Lodge, just like eight other sorceresses. But if you think I'm responsible for the Lodge's actions, you're badly mistaken. The Lodge is a theater for two actresses. Sheila and Philippa have long dominated it. To the point where you didn't know about the murder they planned? To the point where I was no longer invited to gatherings. Why? They stopped trusting me. Because you didn't agree with them? Nine women very rarely agree on anything. The actual problem was that... Tell me. I was close to you. If Sheila fears anyone, it's Geralt of Rivia. The Lodge did everything to convince me that our relationship didn't bother them, even that it suited them. But they manipulated me. Through me, they fed you select information. Depending on the circumstances, they twisted facts. We're still close. They could still be doing it. Don't insult me. Calm down, Triss. Reynold Ep Matson claimed otherwise, but I'll always take your word over that of some Nilfgaardian lowlifes. Now, you'll tell me everything you know. I need to learn the truth. All existing councils of mages disintegrated after the Thanad massacre. We all acted separately. Philippa decided to create a new organization, a secret one this time. When I was sworn in, it never crossed my mind that the Lodge's plans would soon become secret to its members. As you know, Philip is not one for minor undertakings. She presented a plan for creating a powerful state controlled by sorceresses. No wonder the kings are opposing the sorceresses. Nobody likes a schemer. Philippa and Sheila never lacked ideas or enthusiasm. To control a powerful state, they needed to create one first. Or find a wealthy land with a suitable political arrangement and an easily manipulated ruler. Sheila chose the Pontar Valley, Demavend, and Stennis. I'd choose the same if I were her. Demavend didn't have a network of spies anywhere near as good as Hensoltz or Radovitz. Nor could he count on the loyalty of such men as our dear Vernon Roach. At one of our meetings, I just asked how they imagined overthrowing Demavend. That was the last time I was invited. After Demavend's death, I became suspicious, but had no evidence. Philippa brushed me off. When you went off to meet Yorveth and Sheila was busy with the Karen's carcass, I managed to scan parts of her megascope. That's when I learned that Sheila had dealings with Letho. Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to, but we never met after that. Letho must have shadowed me when I entered Sheila's room. Then he forced me to teleport us to somewhere near Vergen. Did you talk to him? He wasn't aggressive. In Vergen, he told me that Sheila commissioned them to assassinate Demavend. Them being the witchers of the School of the Viper. Sheila helped them prepare the assassination. I wonder why he told you about it. Is that important? Conspirators who suddenly divulge everything. I'd be suspicious. There was some interference as we teleported to Edern. I emerged intact, but... Pretty battered. I met the troll who fell in love with you. He saved me, tended to my wounds. But when he started treating me like a caged canary, I fled. I knew Philippa was in the area. I decided to go see her and lay my cards on the table. Maybe Letho wanted just that. I met a woman at Philippa's house. Thought she was just a servant or Philippa's lover. 
Before I could speak, I was overpowered by spells. I hardly expected an attack. The pain I felt as my body was compressed. It's indescribable. As if all my bones were being broken. It's even worse when you return to your true form. In any case, Philippa had no idea her lover was a Nilfgaardian spy. I was carried as that figurine all the way to Loch Nguyen. Asira decompressed me back just before they murdered her. Shillard interrogated me, but learned nothing. If it wasn't for you, they'd have had me quartered. I didn't piece the puzzle together until I was here, in the dungeon. Now you know everything. Did Saskia know the Lodge's plans? She didn't even know the Lodge existed. Philippa told her that the sorceresses would support an independent state in the Pontar Valley, no strings attached. A fairy tale, but Saskia bought it. Saskia backed Philippa, and the people backed Saskia. Philippa controlled Saskia with her spells. Figures. The woman's a control freak. She miscalculated by coming to Loch Muin. Radovid had her imprisoned and then blinded. That's impossible. I was there. Who had Foltest assassinated? I have no idea. Perhaps after Demovan's successful assassination, Sheila and Philippa decided to take the next step. That would be stupid. Killing Demovan was a way to take control of the Pontar Valley. People would forget the regicide in a year, and the Lodge could put its plan in motion. They had to know that if Foltest died, men like Roach wouldn't rest until they learned why that had happened. One thing is certain. Letho killed Foltest, and Sheila was working with Letho. Ever find out what Sheila was actually doing in Flotsam? I find it hard to believe she went there just to kill a monster and earn a few horns. You're right, of course. It had something to do with Letho and the Scoyatel. What did she want from Yorvith? The Scoyatel were Saskia's trump card. I expect Sheila needed to know what the elves would do given that a war with Hensel was practically inevitable. That'll have to do for now. We'll learn more at the talks. You're going to attend? You have no memory of how the world worked before the Thanet Massacre. Actually, I know exactly how it worked. That means... We'll talk about my memory later. All right. If the Council and Conclave still existed, kings wouldn't be assassinated and massacres would be less frequent. This is our chance to restore these institutions and we shouldn't miss it. Normalizing relations between the rulers and the mages who advise them is our only chance for peace. And our only chance to dismantle the Lodge. The Lodge will disintegrate anyway. Once the Kings learn it was behind the assassinations, they'll start a witch hunt. We can prevent that from happening. I'm all for punishing the guilty, but can't abide collective responsibility. I'm ready to go and reveal everything I know about Philippa Isleheart, Sheila de Tanserville, and their schemes. Let's go then. Guardians, that's your work? They followed their leader too blindly. You killed them all? They didn't slaughter themselves. We shouldn't arrive at the same time. Let's split up. The Lodge remembers too. Rest assured I won't let anyone compress me again. Some of the sorceresses will be surprised to see you. Watch them closely. Don't worry, I'll manage. See you at the talks. All right. Mm, nothing special. It's a brazen attack. King Radovid will learn of this. Radovid, send them, you idiot! Greetings. Nice. Many thanks for the compliment. Kitchen open. 
It's not that kind of fire. Only in the eternal fire 